Hi, Stevenson Grammar video, chapter eight, week six. These are the things we're going to talk about. We're gonna review nouns and verbs. We're going to review the, um, the check when we check for twos. And we're going to add to the sentence analysis steps. We're gonna do an exercise. We're going to add to the verb page. Um, we're going to look at some definitions and you're going to complete a workbook, item number 10. So let's just jump right into it. All right, if you guys turn to your chapter 8, turn to chapter 8, we're going to be talking about this stuff right here. For younger students, you should have them write these, um, sort these nouns and verbs. Turn the light on. You should write these nouns and verbs into sections um, with your verb section and then your noun section on an exercise page. But for older students, I think you've got nouns and verbs. So we're just going to go a real quick review. All right. Allie, come here. Come here. I would like you to um, read the word and write N beside the nouns and V beside the verbs. Read them out loud. Okay. Goat. Mm -hmm. ne beside. Just, it's okay. Just write beside. Because I didn't leave much room. But that was a good I good thought to label the top. That's a noun. Goat is a noun. Read the word. Pale. Pale. Is pale a verb or a noun? Verb. Wait. Can you pale something? No. N no, you can't pale something. That was a tricky one. I suppose you could yeah. impale something, but you can't pale something. So that's a noun. noun. It's a person, place, thing. That's a thing. You see. Can see. You can see something. That's you can. Good. Sorry, I messed up the video. Just edit it out. Just to see again. Oh, that's okay. See. Go ahead. Um, read. You can read. That's a verb. Good. Cool. 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 Can you cold something? No. No. Sorry. That's a noun. Can you make that noun, that in a little bit better? <coughs> Cole is a person, place, thing, or idea. Which is it? Thing. Thing. Okay. Boat. Person, place, thing, or idea? Thing. Thing. Chew. Can you chew something? Yes. yes. Yeah. Must be a verb. Can you bring something? Yes. Must be a verb. Can you play something? Yes. Good. Verb. Can you weep? Yes. Verb. Those Good. Are, that's a check mark. <laughs> she a little carried away oh, on that? Like four, three, no. All right. Four. Good job, Allie. Yes, you I did it. That All right. Of use. That's okay. You're fine. All right. So. We know the difference between nouns and verbs, right? So, we are going to look at a couple of phrases here. Remember, let's see, I'm just going to erase this part now. I'm moving on to page 31. So, as you're following along here, turn to page 31. Erase. Remember we talked about prepositions and prepositional phrases. Okay. When we read a phrase like this, as we do our sentence analysis steps, remember it tells us the second thing on our sentence analysis steps over here is um, to check for twos. So we go through and we're like, oh yeah, there's two. So we check. Well, what this check means, it really, it's standing for a great big stop sign. This big check should say, as you're going through and analyzing your sentence, that big check should tell you, whoa, stop. Pay attention here. That, this is in your mind, 
that check means stop, okay? So as we're going through, we want to see what follows the two. That's why we stop. So to the store, is this a verb or a noun? No. It's a noun, it's a person, place, thing, or idea, right? So this phrase is what kind of phrase? A prepositional, prepositional phrase, because it starts with a preposition. Ends with a noun. Ends with a noun, right. How about, I'll do another one. Um, okay, as you're reading through, you get to a phrase like this, and you're like, oh, there's two. I'm going to put a check there, which reminds me to stop and look at it. What follows the two? Is this a noun or a verb? Noun. Noun. So this two is a preposition, and that makes this a prepositional phrase. All right. Well, what if? What if you're reading along and you get to something that looks like this? You're reading along and you read the sentence and it says, I want to jump in the pool. So as you go through and you do your sentence analysis steps and you get to step number two and it says, check for twos. Oh, check. There we go. In your mind, that big check says, stop. Well, let's see what comes after the two. All right, Allison, jump. Is this a noun or a verb? That is a verb. Verb. Uh-oh. A prepositional phrase starts with the preposition and ends in a noun. a noun. So all of a sudden, this is different, right? It's a verb phrase. It's a verb phrase. Exactly. That means that this too is not a preposition, is it? Mm -mm. It's not. It's an article? It's or? still a phrase, like this. It's a special verb phrase. When you have a verb that starts with the word, that a verb and two, it's a special kind of verb called an infinitive. Because it, it doesn't say where you start jumping and it doesn't say where you, where you stop. Wow, okay, tell me that again. So, if it's infinitive, okay, to jump. It's saying... Film Joe. I am like... Someone is jumping, but we don't know when they started or when they stopped. Let's say, like, uh, if I if it said I jumped in the pool, we know it's past tense. You have already jumped in the pool, or I am jumping in the pool. That would be present tense while you're doing it, or uh, I'm going to jump in the pool. Well, that would be um, future. Okay. But this does not say specifically when it starts or stops, so it's infinitive. Infinitive. Yeah. What else is, so exactly, so like the idea of God. God has no beginning or no end. He's infinite, he, he's infinite, right? So that's a perfect example. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for explaining that. I couldn't have explained that better myself, actually. It doesn't tell when the action starts or when it stops. Therefore... To jump is an infinitive verb. All right. We are going to take a moment and add to our sentence analysis steps. Please direct the camera over there to sentence analysis steps. I would like you guys in your uh, statements and grammar notebooks to turn to your sentence analysis steps page and add number five. Find and label verb phrases or infinitives. Verb phrases is just another word for infinitives, okay? That's all we're doing with that. Okay, we just covered chapter page 31 and 32 on that. Now, after you, as you guys are writing, um, that rule in your sentence analysis steps, I'm going to go ahead and start writing 
an example on the board and you can add this example to an exercise page in your um, Stevenson Grammar Notebook. Okay, And on the top of your exercise page, you're going to write week six, chapter eight mm. at the top of the exercise page. Uh, Mom, I can't see the um, board. Wait. Okay, honey. Um, week six, chapter eight. Yeah, what can't you see, hon? Um, the sentence analysis page. Okay. Probably stick that on the wall, huh? All right. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here's our example. Look. Your dad would be so happy if I used his name in an example. Hey. Kind of a weird thing that Kevin likes to do, but uh, whatever. Talk to the squirrels. Oh, yes. <laughs> Not squirrels, zebra. <laughs> huh. Okay, so turn to your exercises tab. Write this on the top of the page and then copy down this sentence that can be found um, right here on page 32 in the workbook. We are going to work through the sentence analysis steps. So, yeah, uh, you can you're going to have to stand over there and flash back between the sentence analysis steps and what I'm doing, okay? I know it's going to no, be kind of a mess, but... Here, um... Wait, what's the first step of the again. sentence analysis? Sure. I'm going to get a different chair. Read the no, Allie, sentence. put it back. Just put it back. We're fine, honey. Read the whole sentence. Okay, Allison, do the first step then. Read the whole sentence. In the evening, Kevin liked to take talk talk to the zebra. Okay. Can you okay. name the What's the second step? Yes, you can. Come here. Check for the twos. Check for the twos. Come label. Well, I started with glare on the board, but it's fine. Okay. Let me see. I'll have the. I'll take it for a second. Oh, wow. Because the Allison two. is going to do this work, so. Okay, check for the twos. There's two. Good. Usually there's zero. All right. It's kind of wet right there. I know. Um. Okay, what's the second thing that we do? Uh, the third thing we do on sentence analysis Find steps. Find and label preposition words and um, prepositional phrases. Okay, so preposition words. And... That's it. Okay. Okay. Now, what about those check twos? What does it tell you to do? It tells you to stop. stop. Okay. Um, is so the, the first one a verb comes after the um, preposition, so okay. that is not the preposition. Okay. What about the second two? It is a adjective and then a noun, so okay. that is a preposition. Okay, so make a P over that check. Check. Okay, Joe said that the zebra is a noun. Okay, good. Good. What about in the evening? Can you label that prepositional phrase? Evening is a noun. Good. Prepositional phrase start with preposition, end with a noun. Good. And then Kevin is also a noun. Okay, good. Uh, what about, um, go ahead and label the, 
because wait oh, that's the next right thing is to label adjectives at step number four label the adjectives and technically are there any adjectives in there there are two yeah okay there are two they say can you so, find the two allison it tells you where you like skinny dipping season no no it tells who no. no i'll give you hints oh evening nope you already said that's a noun that word is oh. already labeled right so Adjectives like, are words that are not labeled yet. Like? No. These not labeled. What do, what do, Allie, what do adjectives do? They describe something. They describe nouns. I know. What? Okay. It tells the evening. Okay. What about the? What? What about the? It's an adjective? Yes. yes. What kind of adjective? It's a, article. it's an article, like A, you know, articles are A, A N, and B. B. So the is actually an adjective telling which evening. So it's an article, ADJ. It's okay, I got it. Then there's another one. Okay. Two. No. Like. Look at only the words that you've, you haven't labeled yet. Talk, like, and the oh. good. The good job. The Perfect. One. Eighty J. All right. Good. Just added is to find and label verb phrases okay. or infinitives. So so step step number oh, five. You can like one. something. You can talk. You can like something. Well, that's yeah, good. He's well, she's yeah, she's labeling she's her good. verbs. Good. You can like something, and you can talk. Well, that's right. Yeah. Anyway, that's okay. So, um, that label that happen? verb phrase. What do we have for the verb phrase? It starts with to. To talk is a verb phrase, right? Mm -hmm. Because verb follows to. But how do we label the verb phrase? Well, all phrases you, in Stevenson Grammar, you label with a squiggly line underneath. But if it starts with a preposition and ends with a noun, it's a preposition phrase. If it starts, if it has a verb in it, then you know it's a verb phrase. So you can go ahead, it's a phrase, so you can go ahead and squiggle line. But well, what is to? Is it still a preposition? Nope, no, not, not in this. It's part of the infinitive to talk. Okay? So, do this in your exercises page. Right? Now, Joseph, yes. I would like you to turn to <gasps> He says he likes your... to talk to the monkey. Not the zebra. Hmm. They changed it. They changed it on the bottom of page 33 to monkey instead of zebra. Yeah, That's funny. Dad, I like to talk to yeah, Dad likes to talk to zebras and monkeys. And zebras it's kinda, I didn't know this about him when I married him, but it's okay. It's okay. You learn new things about people. Okay. Um, all right. So I would like you to turn to your... Um, Parts of speech tab, Joe, in your notebook. Turn to your parts of speech tab, and uh, I would like you to write this. Parts of speech in your verb, on your verb page. It has the definition. Underneath the definition, I would like you to write. Um, Infinitive, infin, <laughs> I always misspell things on the board. Infinitive <laughs> equals verb phrase. Um, and then and write to plus verb.
So do that on your verb page. It'll look like, um, don't worry about this part yet. It'll look like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. On page 34, um, of your Stevenson grammar manual, it goes in talking about some definitions that you can add to your definitions page. page. They include them on this lesson because these definitions are actually verb phrases. So, you can do this if you'd like. I know you guys have lots of vocabulary words to work on right now, but, or various usually in paces you usually do, but um, under definitions tab, these would be, uh, these are good words that you could include in your writing, um, things like that. Um, okay, number one, we have the um, verb phrase to coax. To coax means to urge. To coax means to urge. We have two infinitives there, don't we? Two infinitive phrases. To loathe. What does to loathe mean? You guys, whoops, good. L O A T H E. We've been talking a lot in B class about um, word choice in your writing and choosing to use strong verbs versus overly used verbs. And these are some really good strong verbs that you could use. To soar. What does to soar mean, do you think? To fly. Yeah, to fly. That's good. Or to soar over the clouds. <laughs> that's using it. That's to. using the word to soar in a sentence. That's good. Or a phrase. To soar. Um, you said means to fly. Stevenson Grammar says it means to glide. Mm -hmm. So you can add those things to your definitions. That would be cool. All right. As as a family, don't put your finger in front of the camera. <laughs> as a family or a group, you guys can add if you do. Um, look at number page thirty-five, activity number one. It says. Have students compose six verb phrases or infinitives on a clean exercise page. Remind them that verb phrases always start with the word to and end with a verb. Then they should label the phrase. So as a family, as a group, when we finish the video, you guys can do that. The other thing that I want you to do is complete workbook item number 10. And... It's going to look like, so after you complete workbook item number 10, then I want your parent to use the answer key, answer key, to check your work, write your grade, and then let me know what you, you can turn this in and let me know what you got. All right. This is an example of, of one that's done. Jack, can you please come and get close so that I can see this? In the evening, Kevin liked to walk, uh, to talk to the zebra. Okay, that's exactly what we did. And um, so do all of these like that. Okay, the end. Bye.